Last night, the state line was privy to some gorgeous photos of the northern lights. Now, when it comes to tonight, we have another opportunity to potentially even see them once again. Now, last night, we got up to a level G4 geomagnetic storm, which is considered severe. And tonight, right now, the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center has currently issued a G4 or higher possibility watch. So with that in mind, could still very well see another viewing of the northern lights. However, we have run into maybe a little hiccup, and that comes from a BZ value of it being positive. Now, what ends up happening with the BZ, it's the direction and orientation that the coronal mass ejection electric magnetic field is in. Right now, we want it to be negative, and pretty much any time we want it to end up being negative because of how magnets work. If you ever put two magnets together, if you put a positive and a positive together, well, they kind of repel each other. However, if you put an, a negative and a positive together, well, they attract, and of course, opposites attract. That's kind of the case how it is when it comes to these coronal mass ejections. And right now, over the past few hours, as the CME has actually hit the Earth, well, we've had a positive BZ value. So as of now, it might be a bit of a struggle to see them overnight tonight. That was the biggest question going forward and still kind of is while it's not out of the question. With just how delayed it has been, it might have lowered our capabilities to maybe a G3 level. Still, though, a lot of time to potentially go out and view it. And when it comes to it, still the best viewing, at least potential, is from 7 to about 1 o'clock in the morning. And if you do plan on going out, I would highly recommend dressing warm as temperatures will likely be into those 30s. Another little hiccup for us here tonight is likely going to be some cloud cover, an elevated cloud cover of that, that will make its way overhead. So if you want to go out to potential another viewing, well, make sure you have your cameras and your phone charged. And you probably want to head up north about an hour near Madison, Milwaukee. Now, not in the main cities, you want to be away from all the big cities and from regular light and instead be somewhere kind of rural uh, where it's rather dark. And, but I do think Madison, Milwaukee is kind of a good reference point for how north you should end up being to get away from that cloud cover. Of course, right now, Viewing conditions still aren't the greatest, so we will keep you up to date on our WIFR First Alert weather app as the night progresses. And if we do end up upgrading to a G3 or G4 level um, geomagnetic storm, of course, we will go ahead and let you know.